What's up, everyone? Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We get down here at Hempstead Lake, watching the sunrise. It is a balmy 33 degrees, just above freezing. I'm a little bit numb, but it's all right. We get our ride in. Day two of uh, 75 hard, uh, phase two. Um, I kind of forgot how nice it was to go to sleep after uh, doing your uh, 75 hard routine. Uh, you hit the pillow like a rock and uh, you wake up in the same position. It's actually uh, kind of a really nice feeling, believe it or not. I got a good night's sleep last night. I needed it. Um, it's amazing when uh, you kind of push yourself, uh, how, uh, how it kind of all falls together. Which uh, brings me to the message of the day. Um, are you listening? Are you tuned in? Um, are you listening to what the universe is telling you? Are you listening to what God is telling you? Uh, are you listening to what your body is telling you? Um, I told you yesterday, I kind of felt like I was running around with my check engine light on and um, dragging a little bit. And I had done 75 hard in phase one and I was down to high school weight. And little by little, old habits die hard. And uh, I gained, I'm probably up 20 something pounds from where I was at my lowest after 75 hard phase one. And um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling it. So, so my brain was telling me you need to start 75 hard phase two. You need to get back on your program. Um, and I kept fighting it. I kept fighting it. And... Uh, we all need structure in our lives, and we all need to listen to what our gut is telling us. And finally, I did, and we started it, and here we are. Woke up this morning feeling good. Uh, lost a pound and a half already, I know. Uh, I think guys lose it faster. A lot of it's water weight and whatnot. But um, it feels good. It feels good. I got to read last night. I haven't read in a while. Uh, read my friend Stacy Rasky's book. And it just made me think about, uh, do you listen to all the cues in your life? what the universe is telling you, what God is telling you. Um, do you follow your gut? Um, you ever notice in your life, uh, your gut will tell you when something feels right and when something feels wrong. Um, you'll just know. And when you fight that feeling in your gut and you go against what your gut is telling you, that's when uh, you make mistakes. That's when you do things that you regret. Um, so really, we talk a lot about stopping. Just you really got to stop and listen. Um, listen to what's going on around you. Listen to your gut. Listen to how you're feeling. Listen to what your body's telling you. Um, <clears throat> it's going to tell you if you're on the right path or the wrong path. Um, if you're hanging out with the right people, the wrong people. It's just that feeling you're going to get. And we need to pay attention to that feeling in our gut. Um, if you think about things in your life, um, when you've made decisions against your gut, um, and they usually don't turn out well, and when something just feels right, it just goes right. So uh, we need to really tune in and, and be in touch with, uh, with our gut and what our gut is telling us um, and stop fighting what our gut is telling us. We need to start listening to what our body is telling us. When our body's telling us, hey, check engine lights on. It's time to stop drinking. It's time to start eating better. It's time to get back on your workout routine. Um, we need to listen. We need to listen. Um, so we'll talk about a lot. Just, just really slowing it down every now and then and taking a listen to what's going on and realizing where you are and where you want to be and what your goals are. We get so caught up in the grind and so caught up in the process that we, we forget why we're doing it. So there's your message. Um, take a minute, listen to what your gut is telling you and, um, and follow it, follow it. Stop fighting your gut. Your gut is what God is putting in there. Your gut is what the universe is putting in there. What that feeling you're getting is uh, where you're supposed to be. So don't fight it. Go with the flow, get in flow. All right, busy day today. Uh, my buddy John Batanti, uh, Lieutenant Colonel in the U.S. Marine Corps, is retiring after 22 years of service. God bless you, John. Go and do that. Um, I got an iconic call at 11. Uh, I got a call with Stacey Brasky at 9. Uh, we're going to go show some condos uh, this afternoon. Busy day. Busy day. I'm always doing something here. But um, All right, let's jump in prayers. We got a beautiful morning down here at Hempstead Lake. If you haven't been here yet and you live in the area, come down here, take a walk, take a hike, take a bike ride. It's absolutely beautiful. We got this little oasis here and uh, we generally don't take advantage of it. 
All right, all right. So let's jump in prayers. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to follow our gut. Help us to listen to uh, the prompts that you're putting in our life. Help us to get in tune and get in uh, tune with the vibrations of the world that tell us where we need to be. Um, help us to stop getting in our heads and help us to stop overthinking and help us to stop second guessing everything uh, and just follow what our gut is telling us. Amen. All right, everyone. So Tuesday, it's cold, 33 degrees. You know how you know it's cold out? When you walk out and it's cold. So uh, here we go. 33 degrees. Uh, Thanksgiving is two days away. Uh, we talk about it all the time. Two parts of Thanksgiving. Wake up every morning and be thankful and keep giving. Keep giving. We're here in this world to give, to help each other, make someone smile, make someone's day better. Um, get out there. Be thankful. Give. Follow your gut. And uh, your life will get better. All right, everyone. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Look at that sunrise. Beautiful.